The goal of this lecture is to plot each of the building blocks that we learn in lecture 12 for plotting body plots. The first one is the constant that multiplies the normalized transfer function, kg, and the magnitude corresponding to that constant is no more than the constant expressed in decibels, dBs, for which you need to compute 20 times the uh, log in decimal base of the absolute value of k0. The phase is just essentially the, um, the angle of the real number and when it's positive it will be zero and when it's negative it's 180 degrees. So when we plot that particular uh, building block, the constant, all we get is essentially a line as a function of uh, angular velocity. Uh, sorry, uh, frequency, angular frequency. So this is the plot, and we're going to call this the magnitude plot on the left for the gain. And again, this is a constant, and in the body plot, you'll see that the constant is just 20 log of k0. Here I am computing this for k0 equal to 10, and this yields um, the particular value of um, k0 in dB that you see right there. Okay. Notice that the vertical axis for k0 in dB is linear in magnitude. That's what this means. Sorry for this being cut off. While the frequency that we have on the horizontal axis is um, logarithmic. So we go from 1 to 10 to 100 and then from 1 to 0 0.1 and so on uh, towards smaller, smaller numbers. Now, when we plot the phase, we need to make sure that we use the right sign um, to look at each of these plots. So when k0 is larger or equal than 0, the phase of that real number will be taken as 0. But when k0 is negative, the phase is going to be taken as minus 180 degrees. You can visualize this as having a vector with magnitude k0 on the unit circle and the angle of the vector with respect to the positive horizontal axis will correspond to this value that you have here. Um, for convenience we use the negative 180 degrees even though one could use the positive 180 degrees. So this is the plot that you will obtain and if you were to use our template that we have provided you with here, and I suggest to use this for the future um, uh, building block plots, then you will have a constant here as a function of the uh, frequency in radian per seconds, and then if that constant is, is positive, you will have zero phase, while if it is negative, you will have minus 180 degree phase, okay? All right, the next building block that we have here is, um, j omega, which comes from having a pole or a zero at zero, and when this power is one, it corresponds to a zero, when it's minus one, it corresponds to a pole, both at zero, and when it's two and so on, it gives you the number of poles or zeros that you have at zero. Okay. So let's do the first um, plot, which will be corresponding for the magnitude. And um, I just want to here to clarify what I said in the previous uh, um, slide. Okay, so let's go to that uh, building block, j omega to the p, or in this note, is to the n. Bear with me with the notation. Uh, to compute the magnitude, what we have is to take the uh, decibel expression of j omega to the n, and that is no more than 20 log of the absolute value of j omega to the n and then by property of the logarithms this n becomes uh, a product by 20 so we end up with 20 times n log of the absolute value of j omega and then the absolute value of a complex number is essentially um, omega square square root which will be the absolute value of omega okay so 20 n log um, square root of uh, absolute value of omega so how do we plot this? Well, what I did here is to plot for different um, 
different values of n, okay? And the one I want to explain first is for n equal to 1, okay? That corresponds to a 0 at 0. So that would correspond to this um, a plot that you see right here, 0 at 0. Uh, the first point that you will identify is the point when omega is equal to 1, because when omega is equal to 1, the logarithm of 1 is equal to 0. So if this is the magnitude of j omega to the n in dBs, 0 dB will correspond to 1. It turns out that this is the case for any n, in other words, whether you have a 0 or you have a pole, and regardless of the multiplicity of the 0 or of the pole. <coughs> so what you can see now is that when I have n equal to 1, which is the case I'm considering here, again, the 0 at 0, n equal to 1 will give me 20 times 1, and then when omega is equal to 10, this log will give me equal to 1. Therefore, this line should cross from omega equal 1, 0 dB, and omega equal 10, 20 dB. And if you keep doing this and you realize that omega is a space logarithmically, what happens is that this absolute value or magnitude of j omega to the 1 in dB is just a line. So this line that you see right here corresponds to n equal to 1. Now the only change that will happen when n is different than 1 and positive is that the slope is going to change. So instead of going from 1 to 10 an increase of 20 dBs, we will go from 1 to 10 and an increase of 40 dBs. And if I were to have um, another number n, it will be an increase of 20 times n dBs. So the slope will get sharper and sharper. So for zeros, what happens when they are at zero, we get lines for magnitude that correspond to slopes that are 20 times n dB per decade in omega. That means that the slope is given by a, um, a slope by 20 dB per decade. Okay, And if you were to have 2, then it would be 40, and if you have 3, it would be 60, and so on. The only difference now when we have negative n's, which corresponds to have poles at 0, is that the slope will be negative, because n will be negative. So this will be multiplied by minus 20 times the absolute value of n, if you will. So the plots will just reverse, they will mirror with respect to omega, and they will become essentially the following plots that I have here for n equal to minus 1 and for n equal to minus 2. And you see that right here, these are the two plots. So this corresponds to poles at 0, this one with multiplicity 1, and this one with multiplicity 2. So what I suggest now is that you go ahead and plot this in MATLAB using the command body. Now if you never use the command body, it will be a good idea to actually read the information about it and understand what it does for you. So take your time and whenever you are done plotting the body of these multiple uh, cases of poles and zeros at zero, then you can come back and watch the next video.